Learn to start elastic scattering experiments could they create a massive black hole with the power boast. The failure to discover a new particle that could have broken the standard model of particle physics has not dampened the enthusiasm of researchers at the European Organization for Nuclear Research. Scientists associated with CERN's Large Hadron Collider, LHC, are now preparing the particle accelerator for a special run one that would seek to observe and study elastic scattering of protons. The phenomenon occurs when two protons survive their encounter intact without colliding head-on with only a slight change in their direction. However, elastic scattering cannot be observed during normal, high-luminosity LHC runs, when protons are more likely to crash into each other and create new particles. That is why scientists associated with the Totem and Atlas-Alpha experiments at LHC are now dialing down the luminosity thereby reducing the chances of head-on collisions and increasing the probability of elastic scattering. One of the most fascinating physics goals of TOTEM is to get information on the probability that two protons pass completely through each other without interfering, CERN said in a statement released Thursday. This might appear awkward if you think of a proton as a billiard ball, but instead you have to try to imagine the two scattering protons as large galaxies, made up inside of tiny moving particles, launched at high speed against each other, there is a finite probability that the two galaxies will pass through each other without the inner particles interacting significantly. Scientists hope that observing this process would provide them vital clues to how quarks are distributed within protons. In addition, the experiments may also tell us what particles within a proton are actually playing a role during elastic scattering. Eventually, these type of studies are also useful for understanding the dynamics of cosmic rays high-energy particles that originate outside the solar system that, while traveling towards the Earth's surface, impact with its atmosphere to produce a shower of secondary particles, CERN said. While the latest run of the LHC has yielded more precise measurements of processes falling within the ambit of the standard model a framework that describes three of the four known fundamental forces and has provided observations of the famous Higgs boson at the unprecedented energy of 13 ter electron volts, it has drawn a blank insofar as the search for new particles is concerned. In particular, a tantalizing bump in 2015 data at 750 giga electron volts which had been previously detected by the ATLAS and CMS detectors, did not resurface in the much larger 2016 data set, suggesting that it was, in all probability, the result of a statistical fluctuation. Totem what is totem? Well to the world it's just the name of an experiment. However it is a spirit being, sacred object, or symbol that serves as an emblem of a group of people, such as a family, clan, lineage, or tribe. CERN is the sacred object, the spirit being is the thing that powers CERN. And do you recall the family from another one of my videos? What about Atlas in Greek mythology, Atlas was a titan condemned to hold up the sky for eternity after the Titanomachy. Although associated with various places, he became commonly identified with the Atlas Mountains in northwest Africa. Titans were always depicted as bad creatures they tried to remove the humans from Earth many think that a black hole is Atlas. Just to get your mind working Atlantic Ocean means Sea of Atlas, while Atlantis means Island of Atlas. More on this in another video. When building the LHC, many believed that they could or would create a black hole, fears grew when they started the first elastic scattering experiment. Now they're about to increase the power. One can find a ton of papers on elastic scattering of black holes. From one of the papers diffraction of scattered waves provides the explanation for many of nature's most beautiful phenomena, such as rainbows and glories. It has long been recognized that these optical phenomena have analogies in many other branches of physics. They are of particular relevance to quantum physics, where plane wave beams are routinely used to probe the details of atoms, nuclei, or molecules. Such experiments provide a deep understanding of the scatterers. 
physics and can be used as a powerful test of various theoretical models. The analogy can be extended also to gravitational physics and extreme astrophysical objects like black holes. In fact, black hole scattering has been the subject of a considerable amount of work carried out over the last 30 years in the case of astrophysical black holes it is unlikely that the various diffraction effects will ever be observed, although it is not entirely implausible that advances of current technology will eventually enable us to study interference effects in gravitationally lensed waves. However, it is nevertheless useful to have a detailed theoretical understanding of the scattering of waves from black holes. After all, a study of these problems provides a deeper insight into the physics of black holes as well as wave propagation in curved space-times. Could they cause one or many black holes to form with this new experiment? Our understanding of the scattering from rotating black holes is very limited in order to isolate those scattering effects that are due to the spin of the black hole one must study the particles like CERN is about to. Many think that this universe was created by a massive black hole from an old universe that collapsed on itself. Just maybe they might if so. Look for us on the other side. Stay paranoid my friends.